Ariel Hawani in San Diego at Strikeforce Diaz versus Daly alongside UFC President Dana White. And Dana, in a million years, I never expected to not only see you at a Strikeforce event, but to be wearing a Strikeforce t-shirt. A month ago, you told me you weren't coming to this event. Why are you here? No, I didn't tell you I wasn't coming to this event. I said, I won't go to the first one. I said, I won't go to the first one. We'll make it, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let everybody feel comfortable. We'll get some things smoothed over first, and, uh, and then we'll see what happens. So what is it like being here for you? Is it a little surreal? Uh, yeah, kind of, but not really, to be honest with you. It's, uh, you know, it just feels like being in another fight. You look around, this doesn't really look like a Zufa event. You know, the, the ramp, the, you know, I know that's something that you're very particular about. Um, are you going to change some of that stuff? I know it's very early, but are you looking around to see, okay, I like this, I don't like this? Yeah, obviously, Strikeforce is going to continue to run. These guys are, 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 are on Showtime, and we want to make it the best show possible for the fans, not only here live, but on television. So, yeah, I, th I, I think that, you know, without sounding like a, a d but, but I think we're the best in the business. I think we're good at what we do. A lot of the things that happen behind uh, the curtains and on the other side where the fans sit and on uh, the other side of the camera. So uh, we will make some changes to, to make this thing uh, a little bit better. You know how MMA fans are. They're very particular about their product. A lot of people are wondering, what will the product look like? The ramp, the pyro, all that stuff. Why did you stick with the ramp? Or is that not your call? Is it Showtime's call? No, I think there's, Showtime's actually been great to deal with. Uh, so I, I think the fans are used to watching Strike Force. There's people who do like it. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how this thing goes. It's all still a work in progress. How has uh, the transition been with the Showtime Brass? I mean, have you actually talked to them? I know you said originally that Lorenzo was going to deal with it, but have you talked to them? It's, it's been great, and no, I haven't talked to them. Uh, you know, Lorenzo f talked to them originally and then flew out and talked to them a couple days ago, and everything's been great. There, there's no hard feelings on that side, and, and there's no hard feelings on this side. We'll figure this thing out. Will you look to talk to them maybe tonight? Uh, yeah, if they're here, I'm sure I will, you know. Uh, in the, the, there's some guys over at CBS and Showtime that I've had great relationships with and never had a problem with, and then there's some that I've butted heads with. It's almost uh, ironic in a sense, or maybe ironic's not the right word, but the main event is Nick Diaz, a guy who you said that you, you've liked for many years, but just, quote unquote, doesn't play the game, right? And Paul Daly, obviously your issues with him, well documented. Is that a little strange for you to be watching this event with those two guys as the headlining act? Are, are you trying to start me and uh, Nick Diaz? You know, where I come from, guys get slapped for doing that. Shit. Seriously, I mean, what's your problem? You're, you're an Sounds instigator. familiar. You're an instigator. Are you trying to instigate me and Nick Diaz? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, just check it. Yeah. Most respect for the 702 and the 209. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what was your, what was your question? You forgot the question. Yeah. The question was, isn't it a little weird to see those two guys as the headlining act, considering your issues with them? To be honest with you, uh, it's a good fight. You know, I, I think it's going to be a good fight. I don't think there's any doubt in the world anybody knows uh, everybody knows who i'm rooting for in this fight um who would that be just in case they're not clear really it's for the people that don't know <laughs> <laughs> obviously i'm rooting for nick diaz in this fight and uh and yeah i think here's the thing when, when i listen to nick diaz talk you know this kid's talented he's well-rounded you know i like his attitude and the way that he carries himself to a point he always crosses the line every time he gets out there and talks publicly and he could be such a big star. This kid could be a big star if he would just calm down a little bit and not be so angry with everybody. I mean, seriously, who the f wants to beat up Ariel Hawani, man, other than, uh, other, than other reporters? Right. Who wants to beat up Ariel Hawani? Uh, it, it's just, uh, you know, Nick has this talent, and he talks about the big money and all the other things he could make this big money. He could do that. He could be that guy. He could fight GSP. He could have all these opportunities. He's got to tone it down a little bit, you know? And, and I don't think that I'm, I don't think that, that many people out there would disagree with me. And I'm not asking Nick Diaz not to be Nick Diaz. I like Nick Diaz. I like the way he is. And it's part of the appeal of him, you know? But you gotta, you gotta tone it down just a little bit. Now that he works for you, will you tell him this personally? I've told him that when he did and didn't work for me. Um, and I'm sure he's heard me say it many times, and I'm sure he'll hear me say this. You know, and his brother Nate and I have a great relationship. You know, and, and Nate is, is like Nick in a lot of ways. You know, they're brothers, and you know, they're, they're, they're close, and they train together, and they, can't, they come out of the same camp. But, you know, Nate is, is Nate 
without always crossing that line. You know, if we could get Nick to a point where he doesn't cross the line, he doesn't get so crazy all the time, he could be a big star. People like him. And people dislike him, too. That's not a bad thing. Just a few more questions before we let you go back to the fights. Um, are you going to make your presence felt here in the sense that, you know, that your video blogs, you go to the, the locker rooms, you shake everyone's hand, or are you just kind of observing? And You know what I mean? Yeah, this is my first one, so I'm, you know, I'm here to watch the fights. I'm not here to work. I'm not here to... You know, I'm just here to relax, have fun, and, and enjoy somebody else's show. Yeah, you could tell us, you we're used to you wearing the suit on Fight Nights, like right. casual Fridays here. Exactly. Or Saturdays. Exactly. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to hang out and watch the fights tonight, and uh, that's it. Did you uh, give uh, Scott Coker a friendly suggestion to stand between the fighters and all that? A lot of people were surprised to see him do that now, because he always said he never wanted to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. I, did, I didn't know that, sure. and I, no, I didn't tell him to do that. Okay. Two last questions before we let you go. Uh, at uh, UFC 128 in Newark, you told me to run tweet that homeboy to <laughs> yeah. Vanderlei. Vanderlei got the fight. What happened? He was asking for Lieben and he got it. Yep. Well, here's the deal. Vanderlei, let me, let me put it to you this way. Vanderlei accepted the fight with Vitor. Hmm. So I know a lot of people were out there telling, saying he dick tucked and all, all this other stuff. Vanderlei accepted the fight. You know, and, and Vanderlei has been uh, Vanderlei's been a good guy, and he's a guy that I respect and like very much. And the, the, the bottom line is people don't tell us who they're going to fight, and they don't go on Twitter campaigns and do all this other stuff. And I, and I let Vanderlei know that. And Vanderlei told me, I, I, I'll, I'll fight Vitor. I'll take the fight. Let's do it. And I gave him what he wanted. I gave him Chris Lieben. But Vitor wanted to take the fight too, right? Yep. Well, Vitor accepted the right. fight immediately. And uh, Chell Sonnen, good news for him yesterday. We just announced he's going to be on my show on Monday, which is very exciting. But how about you? I mean, can you give us some sort of sense as to when he will return? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the, the, the kid's paid his dues as far as time goes and financially. And, you know, he's taken his lumps. He's, uh, he's, pay, he's paid his dues. So time to get back and, and get back to work. Do you know when? Uh, ASAP. We're going to get this out before the Showtime card tonight, so we'll tell everyone out there. 10 p.m. live and free on Showtime, Diaz versus Daly. Dana White is in the house. Will you make an appearance on the broadcast? I don't think so. No. Right. I mean, what the, the hell do you need to see me on the broadcast yeah. for? Yeah. I don't think so. You can see him on MMAfighting.com right here. Thank you so much for the time. Right, Welcome to Strikeforce. Good Thank to see you. you here. Thank you.